Chiwembe, 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 so this place is a historical place, an important place. A place where political education, after we took over power in 1986, had its home. And you know the background, the strength of the UPDF. You know that we have survived where others have failed. We have been successful where they have failed because of correct political line. That would not have been possible if we did not have a great leader like His Excellency the President, Yoel Kagutam Seven. He has led us with all that he has. He has sacrificed for this country. He started planning on how to liberate, bring peace to Uganda in the late 60s. He sacrificed his time through the 70s. You have read his books. He has told us what he went through. Sir, this is a clear evidence and manifestation that Uganda People's Defense Forces leadership is deeply thinking about us by initiating and implementing the exercise which is aimed at increasing ideological awareness and secure frameworks that liberates our minds as members of the Uganda Special Forces Command and Uganda People's Defense Forces. This exercise mobilization seeks to remind us of our mandate as enshrined in the Article 209 of our Constitution, which is preserve, defend, protect, cooperate, foster harmony, and engaging in productive efforts to facilitate social economic transformation of Uganda. It's important to note that our work cannot be achievable without patriotic sacrifice, being professional, accountable, productive, and loyal to the people, and having an ideological conviction about our country's progress. To do this, we must have ideological clarity, which is consistent with the ideological orientation based on the patriotic mindset. The APDF leadership is happy to emphasize continuous observation of our core values of conscious discipline, teamwork, integrity, persistence, bravery, love of knowledge, creativity, patriotism, frugality, and pan-Africanism as we continue to deliver our mandate. I was reading a book and I was trying to find the components of fighting power of any force. And when I was reading, they will, they will tell you there is a physical a component of a force. Then they will tell you the, the moral component of a force. Then they will tell you the intellectual component of the force. Then the mastery, understanding these issues. But when you, when, you, when you scan through this, you go back to the middle one, which is the moral component of the force. And that's where you find the morale of the force and the welfare issues come in handy. And so welfare is that stabilizing factor that you bring after you have done everything. You build a force, you train it, you equip it, then you give it the welfare as a glue for all those other things to ensure that the force has the willpower to fight.